Hi, we are now in the last unit in the course, and that is unit four. And unit four of week four. Now, what is it we want to look at in this unit is content presentation for review. We need to review our content before it is deployed to the learners. And it is still me that will be walking you through this unit for this week, and I still remain Professor Owajaje Juliet Ilegbedi. Now, after content has been created, it is important for the creator to give it to others so that it will have other people's view on what the content. And in this area, they will be able to find out if what he thought while creating or what she thought while creating, if other people could see it in that order. So in content creation, you are communicating with the users. In the case of online learning, you are communicating idea or knowledge to the learners. So knowing whether the message sent is received is necessary because it is what we determine the level of knowledge that the learner has gained using the content. And you know so well that if there is no knowledge gained, then you might not have people subscribing to your content. This is where review is very important. Now, there are two phases of review. We have in online, when you are creating, you have two phases of review. The first is a pre-review and we we'll have the post-review. Now we're going to look at how we can carry out these two reviews at a point. Now let's look at the pre-review. In carrying out the pre-review, you have two methods we normally use. The first one is the beta testing. And when you are using beta testing, what do you mean? How do you do it? After you have created your content, what do you now do? You now have to call the experts or the stakeholders. Who are your stakeholders? The stakeholders in this instance, they will be the subject experts, those people that have knowledge, they are knowledgeable in the content you have created. Then you will have the technologies and the learners. These are your subjects, the, sorry, the, um, the stakeholders you're going to use. Now, working with these stakeholders, how do you now work with them? Is for you to present the content to them in the form that you know that is going to be deployed. So if it's going to be used in the learning management system, make sure that it's already in the learning management system before you present it to them. So what they do is to critique what you have done. In some instance, you can provide them a rubric to follow or a checklist to follow while they are watching and going through it and they'll be able to critique it. So what do you do? At the end, you come into an agreement on what has been observed, you discuss it, and you use what has been observed, you now integrate it into the content before you now deploy it for use. And after the deployment, there's another one you could use again is the pilot testing. So if you don't use the beta testing, you could use the pilot testing. The difference is that with the beta testing, you are calling the stakeholders to come and view what you have done, and they will critique what you have done. But if you are using pilot testing, you have to look for a group of persons with the same characteristics with the final users of that document. Then you now release the document to them or the content to them in the form that it will be used in the final way. Then in that aspect, they will use it in the form that you know it is going to be used. Then after they have used it, maybe for a week or two weeks, it shouldn't be too long, maybe maximum a month. Now you now have to give them questionnaire or you interview them. Then the feedback they give to you, you analyze it because you're going to collect data from them. You analyze the data using statistical analysis. Then you derive the findings. So those findings is what you will now use to make a review in that content before you now deploy it. So these are the two methods you use when you are carrying out a pre-review on your content. And it is very important that you carry out a pre-review on your content before deployment. Because there are times there are some little, little things you may not have seen that someone else is going to see. So when you carry out this review, it helps to increase the quality of your content. Now, the next one is the post review. In the area of the post review, the material has been used and at the end, you have not given it 
to the target audience, those people you have actually created the content for, you have created the material for, and they have used it. At the end of it, what do you now need to do is to give, do a survey to find out how they, they, are, they find it. You know, you want to find out how the usability was, difficulties, and the like. So what do you do? You give them, and in that structure, when you are giving them this survey, you cannot test the structure of the, of the material or the content. You can look at the quality of the content, the learning outcome, whether it was met, the interactivity was it met, then how easy we are they able to understand it, the presentation format, you look at the language of instruction, the assessment, the facilitation technique, where it is being facilitated. All these have to come into place because it will help as a guide for you where you get such feedback and any other thing you need to check. So once they give you their feedback, all you now need to do is to analyze the data you have collected from them. And from the findings, you will know the area you need to review, what to remove, what to add, what to amend, what to adjust, and the rest of them. And this is very important because it helps to improve the quality of your content. So collect and analyze the data, then the findings of the survey is used to review the content. Now, in summary, it is important to review online content before and after deployment to the users. This is classified as pre and post testing of the content. For the pre testing, you can use the beta or the pilot testing. And for the post testing, you can use survey technique. And the instruments you can apply there could be questionnaire or you use interview technique in getting it done. But remember, it is very important for you that the findings will be used to enhance the content before deployment. So it is very good that you carry out the pre, uh, the, the, you carry out the pre-testing before you deploy. And again, you discover that when you carry out this, it helps to enhance and again, it helps to project what you are doing. So at this, we have come to the end of this uh, course, but we'll be meeting on Friday, 25th of November, 2022 for the live section. So there we're going to share more ideas with one another. Thank you for being with us.